Frank Martin is preparing for his fight with Shakur Stevenson, but it turns out that he's hurt Gervonta Davis while sparring. It looks as though Frank Martin has hurt Gervonta Davis while sparring, and this is ironic seeing how Davis was the one that warned Frank that he'd get hurt. Davis had stated, Errol better watch out, he'll get his fighter hurt badly like I did before. Akane Reyes had thought that Frank was ready for the big leagues though, Reyes stated, Martin made great adjustments. Rivera was doing the same thing that wasn't working, said Akane Reyes to DAZN. Martin was just a superior fighter, I think Martin is going to the next level. He's ready for whoever, he's calling out Gervonta Davis, I like that talk of talk. He's not that young, he's ready to get to the nitty gritty and he'll get the big bucks, fighting for the title. Even Frank mentioned that he was ready for two of the biggest fighters. Frank stated, I feel like I'm ready for Javonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson, I'm ready for them. I don't train and be in the gym day in and day out to not be ready for those guys. In fact, Frank sees Javonta as an obstacle for getting a fight with another fighter. We'd be a great fight, but I just feel like Isaac Cruz, he got his eyes so set on Tank. Well, Frank will be fighting Shakur Stevenson first in November or December, and Zab Judah thinks that Shakur might be a little too much for Frank. Zab stated, Shakur might be a little bit more of a handful. I'm not saying that Frank doesn't have it. I'm not saying that, no. He hasn't shown the ability that Shakur has shown. I'm picking Shakur. I just know the road that Shakur Stevenson is on right now. I know the mission. He's coming out of a stable with big shoes. If you know Shakur, you'll know that his style is to stop His style is to destroy. Shakur likes to hurt break stuff. That's Shakur. Shakur had hinted at a fight with Frank and he explained what happened to some other potential fights that fans had been looking for. Shakur stated, next year will be the end of my contract. I don't want to discuss those kinds of details, but definitely top rank has been good to me. We reached out to Devin Haney. We had a whole dispute on the money side. We're talking to some people. It's going to be a big fun fight. I wish, but Lomachenko says he doesn't want to fight me. He said next year, but it's a big fight on the way for sure. It's a name. It's an up-and-coming undefeated fighter that is hungry and wants to fight me. I don't know. Brian McIntyre thinks that this fight will be the end of Frank Martin, though. Brian stated, Shakur and Frank Martin will be an annihilation of Frank because he's not ready. If I was his team, I'd pass on that and get him more experience and move forward. Derek James really thinks that Frank is ready for Shakur, Gervonta Davis, and Ryan Garcia. Derek stated, Frank Martin is an amazing fighter. The thing about Frank is that people haven't seen the best version of him yet. He hasn't been pushed to use all the other tools. He gets a victory over Michael Rivera and it shows that he's really a serious fighter and he's really somebody that people should look at as a serious contender. I think he's at that level. Frank is getting called out by other fighters as well though and that includes Keyshawn Davis. Hey, for that other Southpaw on the other side of the street, this is an example for you. But I probably can do you a little earlier than that. You and Earl keep saying this, that, and the third. I want to fight, but y'all calling out other fighters. Why is that? I want to fight you. I want to fight you. You feel me? If you want to fight, let me know because I want to fight. Derek James doesn't think that the fight makes any sense though. Derek stated, What's the point of that fight, even for him? Why would Top Rank do that when they're trying to build him up? Say he loses the fight, he's done. They don't want to deal with him anymore. They're going to let him go. They're going to cut him because they did something that you wanted. The promoters have a plan. The promoters are there to build you, develop you, get the right opponents. That's not the right opponent no matter how bad he wants it. There's no benefit to anybody. Who's going to pay for it? Errol Spence didn't want Frank to fight Keyshawn Davis either, and he named a few other fighters that made more sense to him. I why people keep saying Keyshawn Davis. I mean, he's he a good fighter. I like him, but like he always talk about, oh, I'm only 5-0, I'm only 6-0, whatever he is, 7-0. He always say that. So if he fight Frank and Frank beat him, he going to say, oh, I'm only, I was only 7-0. It would definitely be a good fight. I feel like he ready, but Keyshawn ain't got to wait, wait his time, man. I want to see Frank fight, you know, maybe Shakur Stevenson. You know, you got Tank. A lot of big fights. He's not going to, and he ain't get paid enough to fight Keyshawn Davis. You know, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a, regardless of all these belts and things like that, it's about the money, man. Shakur's okay. sharp as hell. 
<laughs> but somebody gotta get in there and make them uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, cool like that. He like that for sure. But I feel like, you know, nobody ever took Shakur out of his element either. There's sure. been a lot of guys like that until they, until they fight somebody really like that too and they end up getting beat. Keyshawn didn't care if it was for any belts either and he just wants the fight. Keyshawn stated, I think that would be put aside. Like I said, if they really want the fight, then we can make that fight happen because the fans want to see that fight. You know what I'm saying? It could be the co-main on Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. It doesn't matter. I just want to, I don't care about the politics of the business. I want that fight and I want the fans to know I want that fight. And I don't know what they're going to go on, but I want that fight. Other pros think that Frank is a step ahead though. Chris Mannix thinks that Frank was his prospect of the year last year. Chris stated, My prospect of the year is Frank Martin. If you look at the body of work that Frank Martin had in 2022, he collected some impressive wins as he put his name on the map in the 135-pound division. He started the year beating Romero Duno, who is not what he was a couple of years ago when he fought Ryan Garcia, but that was solid. He goes in the middle of the year and beats Jackson Marinez by a knockout. Again, Jackson Marinez is not what he was a couple of years ago. But this is still the same guy that was robbed by Rolly Romero in a couple of fights before that. Jackson Marinez is a solid win. Martin finished the year beating Michael Rivera, which was a prospect versus prospect showdown. It was the kind of fight that you don't see at this level. Frank Martin knows that the top fighters are going to have to start fighting him now, and he doesn't see himself slowing down anytime soon. Frank stated, you know, so the fighters that were sleeping on me, it woke them up to certain things I can do as far as my skill set. But the way we are moving right now, the top names are going to have to see me. So I've just got to keep working. I feel like the top guys ain't just going to be like, yeah, we're going to fight Frank Martin. They're going to look at me as a dangerous fight. You know, I feel like I can do it all. Right now, my team and everybody, they're positioning me to get those types of fights right there. They're putting me in that mandatory spot, so guys will have to eventually step up and take the fight. He also knows that he wasn't as active in his last fight as he had hoped to be, and he plans to fix that as well. Frank stated, I just knew I wasn't as active as I normally am. There were some shots I saw, a lot I could have taken, but it was like my reaction time wasn't on point tonight. He was definitely a tough opponent. I wouldn't say he was too difficult, it was just my reaction time wasn't working like it normally does for me. I still want all of the champions. Don't let one-off performances fool anybody. I still want all the guys. After stunning Gervonta Davis while sparring, Frank Martin has addressed whether or not he thinks a fight will end up happening. Frank stated, yeah, we can make that happen, that'll be a fight. I want you to know if the opportunity presents itself. On top of that, Gervonta simply answered, yeah, for sure. Frank's coaches did an interview about the sparring session and they made their comments on the impactful moments. I had him spar with uh, Tank. Tank asked for that, for that work one day. Me, Floyd at the gym with the media. And Frank really just came there to look for a, a place there in Vegas, you know, because he wanted to move to Vegas at first. So, you know, we come to look. He didn't bring none of his gear, nothing. So when we walk into the gym, Tanks in there in the ring, you know, shadow boxing and all that good stuff. And Floyd so comes to me and say, you know, Tanks, Tank, Tank, won't your boy? I'm like, what you mean? When he come here to uh, find a place, you know, he ain't worked in like two months. So next thing you know, his coach six nine walks up to me and said, Jerome, man, uh, Tank, Tank, won't your boy? I'm like, oh, okay. So, so I go with the uh, Frank and say, hey, you want to get that work? He said, yeah, coach, I haven't sparred in two weeks, but whatever you want me to do, I got you. So uh, Floyd said, get my stuff out of my bag. He said, get my gloves out of my bag. And Floyd don't let no one put on his gloves. So I went and got his green gloves out of his gym bag, laced Frank Martin up. We went and got the mouthpiece head, gear cup, and all that good stuff. We got in the ring. And Tank seen, you know, we walk into the ring, getting ready to get that work. I said, Frank. So when you see him walking like that duck, you know where to hit at. I, I taught him exactly where to hit at. And he knew what I was talking about, so I ain't gonna tell the secrets to that. But anyway, but uh, Frank heard him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tank's a great fighter, smart, intelligent fighter. He got a lot of power. 
They never take nothing from him because he's a quick one as well. They both the same height. They both south call. They both were super hungry, two pet bulls in the ring. So Frank hit him, called him, called him, called him fresh, cold, called him fresh and cold. Tank grabbed him, put him in the headlock. That's when it got ugly. Me and Floyd had to get in the ring and, and separate both of these fighters. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.